Hello, this is John from johnesberg.com. Time for another tutorial on how to use Lightroom 2.0. In this case, we're going to be focusing on snapshots. As you can see, I have all my panels on the left and right closed out. Got my toolbar on the bottom, just made that disappear, the film strip disappear. I'm just maximizing what I've got with my photo. All right, so let's say we want to go take a look at our history. Quick shot, shortcut to that without using the mouse, Control Shift 3. Sometimes you want to use it, sometimes you don't. It's a good shortcut. All right, as you can see, I've made a good number of adjustments here on this image. I've definitely played around with it, experimented with some of my different camera profiles in there. And I'm thinking, okay, so I'd actually like to experiment with some presets. Now, you can use a snapshot as a time mark, as a marker as to when you're working with your image and you, you want to go through the steps. So like, let's say I got up to the sharpening here and decided to actually want to build a snapshot came through all my camera profiles, got to where my stopping point for that was. In this case, I'm not really looking to do that. I'm just going to go play with some presets afterwards like sepia and whatnot with this image. And I'd really like to make all this history disappear. I don't need to see this anymore. I can always go back to it by hitting Control R, but I'm going to come up to develop, clear history, and make that go away. Okay, so it's, you got a fresh template under your history there. All right, now, Let's go and play with some presets. Control Shift 2. Oh, snapshots there. Control Shift 1. All right, I got my Lightroom presets, my user presets. Going to come under here. As you can see, as I scroll down through my presets, if you look up in the navigator window, you can see some previews of everything. All right, I kind of like this aged photo one there. Not bad. But as you can see, it's been applied. And if I want to go back to that, I'm going to have to hit Control Z. So let's hit Control Z. Look down here in the history, nothing there, back to my original from after I made all my adjustments. But I think I'd like to actually make this a starting point. In order to do this, hit Control N to create a new snapshot. Now, when you do a new snapshot, you want to make it obvious as to where your starting point is. So this is what I recommend you do. You type 0 and then whatever you want after that. The idea is, is it'll, that 0 is going to keep it at the top of your list that's really tricky I mean that's a really good trick for when you want to jump back to that real quick and make some more versions with your snapshots before you convert them over to virtual copies and take up more real estate on your on your film strip so I'm back at my beginning state and now let's do aged photo hey I like aged photo cool alright um, let's say uh, cold tone Hey, that's another neat one. Notice I don't have to go backwards to collect these. Kind of cool. Um, <coughs> so let's add this one. Control N again. Cold tone. All right, cool. Well, let's say I want to go in here and I want to make a tweak on some on something or another. Like uh, let's say with this cold tone, I would think that you know some uh, uh, nice post crop vignette dark in my outer corners. See, I think that's an improvement right there. All right, excellent. So I'm going to go control N again. Cold tone improved. Excellent. I'm going to get rid of this cold tone right here. I'm going to delete that one. Okay. So made my adjustments. And uh, let's go ahead and I'll just go back to start from my beginning again. I like that starting point so I can see where I'm working from and I'm gonna go uh, let's do just uh, do a portrait adjustment there not much of a change okay not really into that one strong contrast well let's say for some reason I want to keep that you know I'm gonna be printing on a textile or something and I really want those colors to be more differential on that um, in that case you know we could do another one strong con contrast excellent and now I can just go all right there's my beginning these are my favorites that I've worked with I'm not really worried about the import but this is all my good stuff and now if I want I can go ahead and turn any of those snapshots into virtual copies now that I can quickly run through the different stages that I like and where I can work with them from and you can also you know be working if you're progressing through things and you also want to 
is split off into a different direction, not even messing with presets, these are your good stepping stones for creating your virtual copies again. So this is John from johnesberg.com. I hope you found this interesting, and don't forget to use those snapshots. They're a handy tool, kind of like stacking, image, stacking your images, but all within the same piece. All right, take care.